I'm Xander and I'm the Cairn of Nature Young Ambassador and I'm here in Aberdeenmore because today we're looking for the small scabious mining bee. But before I get started, I just wanted to mention my new upgrade. You might be thinking that I've got, not got a new jumper or a new haircut, but my technology has upgraded to the 21st century. I'm using a new 360 degrees GoPro camera. Let me tell you how it works. If you're on your computer, you can use your mouse to look around the video and see all the way around the area. And on your phone, you can move your phone to see around. How about we give it a try? Follow me. How was that? For those of you who still haven't got the hang of it, you can keep on rewinding the video to practice. The scabious mining bee gets its name from two things. First of all, the scabious part comes from the small but amazing devil's bit scabious flower. That's why this area is the perfect place for these bees. Although they have been known to pollinate from other flowers such as creeping thistle and knapweed. The second part of their name comes from how they mine. They mine into sun-worn banks and thinly vegetated exposed soils to make their nests. The males have a dark brown or black abdomen with a beautiful white face. The females aren't that different though. In this case, the female has an orange abdomen with black stripes that these kinds are rare in Scotland and just like the males and more common ones are the dark brown or black abdomens. The reason for the decline in the species is most likely due to overgrazing, fragmentation and deterioration which means that the devil's bit scapegoat is moving further and further apart from each other and the habitat is getting worse and worse. So there is a few other possibilities that makes this species so rare, including inappropriately timed grass cutting and scrub encroachment. Although loss of suitable habitat is another threat. Although the species is endangered, there are some ways we can help. Maintain an open area of devil's bit scabious over as many fields and land packages as possible. And avoid grazing in scabious rich areas from April to October. Also, don't graze the site simultaneously to leave devil's bit scabies to seed for foraging females. Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and that encourages you to go help the hunt to find the small scabious mining bee. I'll see you next video.